I think that does a great job of listening to what's going on in between the notes. That's just some of the power that the Evolution engine has. Hi, I'm Don Bodan from SampleLibraryReview.com. Today we're going to be checking out the Evolution Round Wound Bass by Orange Tree Samples. Orange Tree Samples has a new bass guitar. This is the second bass guitar they've released in their very powerful Evolution engine, this time setting their microphones to a J-style electric bass. It's made famous by that signature sound of the Fender Jazz bass. Delivers a wide range of styles from early Laroc. Modern rock. Funk. As the name suggests, they've used round wound strings for a brighter, defined timbre. Library downloads is 11.9 gigabytes. It's a sample J style bass coupled with round wound strings housed in Orange Tree Samples Evolution Engine, which has a lot of powerful features, including a mapping system, physical modeling for finger pick adjustment position, built in effects. The sample set includes legato samples for slides, hammer-ons, and pull-offs, and a slew of articulations, including instant octaves, grace notes, buzz, trills, whole steps, hammer-ons, slides, and many more. Library is a Contact player instrument, meaning it's compatible with both the full and free version of Contact. It loads right into your library's tab. Evolution Round Wound Bass normally sells for $179. Um, I'm trying to get this video out as quick as I can, because there's a limited intro price for $139. I'll be sure to include links to take you straight over to Orange Tree Samples in the description below. All right, I've got Evolution Round Wound loaded up here for us to just kind of play through and check out. So first look video, I've just loaded the instrument up, did a batch resave, and now we're going to have a listen to it. You can see we've got a number of presets and we'll just kind of flip through those to start. As you can see, we've got this bassy beast set up. This is the preset we're listening to. We've got sustained articulations set up for all of playback from velocity zero to 127. That's the highest you can go. And you can see all our other articulations can be set up here. So if we wanted to go with picked uh, over, we could just map it to our velocity. And now we've got a picked guitar. Unmap this one. And one thing I do like about the engine quite a bit is you can map any way you want by controller data. If you have MIDI guitars, this is a great engine to play with. Um, you get a lot of, of flexibility and control. So now I've set up mute, palm mute picked. And I'm going to have to do a little bit more because... I'm not able to play so soft. So you can see there when I'm playing softer, I'm getting that palm mute picked. And this is just a tiny peek at how powerful the engine is 
because as you could see, you could load via key switch latching. You can set up controllers for each one. Let's go ahead and just check out some more of these presets. Now we hear a lot going on with uh, tone, and we've got distortion on in our tone presets. An EQ, a compressor, flanger, and reverb. <laughs> Nice tone. I like to leave the play menu open just so I could see what articulations were going to be triggering. Now we also have tons of controls that are really some of the things that make this engine so powerful. We've got the ability to change our pickup. So right now I've got the bridge turned on. You can hear a difference between, and you could actually go in the middle to create that nice balance between the brighter tone of the bridge and the um, a little more rounded sound of the neck. The bass signal is got some inherent EQ and I, maybe a little bit of compression. I can't, it sounds for my ears. It's shaped a little bit stronger. See, we've got single track, double track. And with that, there's controls for panning and humanization. One of the, my favorite features is pick modeling. where you could actually adjust tone by where your pick is. Let me see if we actually are using, uh, we'll, we'll do that with one that's set to picked because I think we'll be able to hear it a little bit better. Got ability to kind of control your dynamics within the instrument. Got drop tuning as well. And then if you need to go deep, thing I like about the instruments and most of the orange tree samples guitars are like this is you get that noise that simulation of irregular noise during playback that really adds hear that uh, release sample it's got that little bit of fret noise and a little different each time we play it 
buzz on the string. It's got some tone changes because of the effects that are turned on, but I think this might be a good one to listen to pick uh, amount for position. So we've got pick modeling enabled, standard on this preset. And brighter at the bridge. A little more oomph in the neck. So that's something that's fun because you could actually assign a MIDI CC if you really want to get it there and uh, create a whole new layer to your pick position and pick modeling. And we've got some pull on, pull off hammer on samples. And you can see right now the range is set up for major seconds. I'm wondering if we could change that. Here we go. Now we can do a full octave. says this one's harmonic portrait here we go our softer velocity is going to trigger harmonics and harder velocities triggering sustained fingers i'm gonna go ahead and turn that a little more harmonics and let's go ahead and cut this one off all the way just so we can hear these harmonics Nice bit of natural mm, harmonic, uh, natural tuningness, the way, I guess. I don't want to say it's out of tune. It's the little bit of waver between notes, and that may be because of the way the... Is there a chorus set up? Yeah, here we go. Yeah, there you can hear everything is tightly in tune. Now 
yeah, this one's called Metalhead. I'm a little surprised it doesn't load up with a drop D for our tuning. Give us a that low growl. Let's go to drop B. hear that little bit of uh release sample there the, uh, and i want to notate to play these before we get any further we've got little some little slaps noises and some gliss Yeah, you see how you can get something fun out of that. So much going on with the uh, tone here, and I think this might be a good one to look at the cab. Uh, right now, it's set for an amp for snarl. Here without it, so just a little bit more bite there. Really go crazy there. And then on the cabinet here, we've got two tens, which is pretty typical. We go with a six ten. And I managed to blow it out here. Uh, microphones. One thing I usually notate when I'm sharing, looking at orange tree samples, is that for contact instruments, a lot of times I won't use the built-in effects merely because I know that I've got some premium plugins that might do better, especially when it comes to reverb um, and some of the guitar effects. But with orange tree samples, I I've really like not only the quality of their effects that are built into their tone, uh, but also the presets and the way that they curate different sounds. So you get a great starting place. Someday I'm going to learn that Seinfeld theme. Something like that. Ooh, you hear that little bit of overtones? Because of the way I played that.
That's just really nice, rounded sounding bass guitar. Just listen to a couple more of these. I think that does a great job of listening to what's going on in between the notes. That's just some of the power that the Evolution engine has to create those random yet unmechanical, non-reoccurring, uh, natural finger and fret sounds that would happen with a real bass. <laughs> Wow, this is going to have to be, I'm kind of working on a little bit of a reggae dub project just for myself, and I haven't found the perfect bass yet, but I might have just found it here with this one. I think this has got a great tone to it. This is a great example of the double tracking. Hear how you've got one left and right, as opposed to And it's an inconsistent difference between left and right. That's how that multi-track humanization must work. Slides are nice. that one. I've been using virtual instruments for some time, and I think I need to address something that libraries like this, um, they don't often have the natural e expressive qualities that happen when you've got a real bass guitar. Those finger slides, the fret noises, the ability to have those little timbre changes with pick. And that's one of the things that I'm a big fan of with the Evolution in uh, for all the libraries, all the guitars, um, with the new bass libraries, 
I have to double down and say it is just as effective. Maybe if not more so because of the nature of your linear, uh, most often single line bass playing really lends the engine to adding the depth and realism uh, that I'm hoping more and more virtual instruments will adapt towards. It takes more than just a great scripting engineer and recording engineer, in my opinion, uh, but it also takes someone who can supervise a project and understand what a real bass sounds like and then define those details, not only in those sampled recordings, but build an engine that will naturally, uh, unmechanically, you know, no machine gun sounds, uh, play back those notes on a MIDI keyboard, translate them into a, something very realistic for a performance of a bass guitar. Oh, I didn't mean to make a little speech there, but uh, I just wanted to share my thoughts with you there, and they kind of came out pretty smoothly. Uh, love your thoughts about the library. Did you pick up the Evolution uh, Flat Wound, and is the Round Wound something you're going to be grabbing now? Love to hear your thoughts. Please comment below. Like, share, and subscribe. Love your support. Be sure to head over to samplelibrarywreview.com for the latest news, reviews, and our weekly deals page.